this again is to help you recruit more awareness and more reaction or more activation of the scapula. Now we've already talked about in and out. Now we're going to talk about elevation and the ability to press the scapula. Now, a lot of people do an exercise such as the dips for their triceps. What's wrong with this if you look at posture? It puts you in anterior rotation. Right. Look at the joint capsule. Look at how they're sitting, how they're existing. And then people get stronger with this. And what they do, they put their feet up on a bench, they add weight, okay? Yeah, it builds your triceps, but at the expense of the elbow joint, neck, the shoulder joint, your traps, you name it, okay? It doesn't turn it into a full body experience and it's very uh, questionable if you will. Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to align the posture prior. We're just gonna learn the initial one and once you get better with this, we'll do the fourth thing, okay? So, alignment's important. I want my pelvis to actually slightly be tilted back towards the bench and I'm gonna work on shoving my knees up. So I have to build power and presence in the lower quadrant, okay? From here, tucking my chin, my shoulder blades are already down and back. And I'm going to let my torso drop a little bit lower. And from there, I'm recruiting elevation into the trap. My shoulders don't creep forward. That's the key. And as I'm coming out of that really slow, I need to actually be able to depress the shoulder girdle and get up to the top. Okay, so really subtle movement. In, way to stay back. Try to almost tuck the elbows towards one another, towards the center of the spine. Pushing the pelvis back, stepping the knees out. So coming out of that that presence in mind, keep pressure into the legs, and depress the shoulders, okay?